Hello everyone, Alex Bimit up here. Today I'm going to show you how to create equipment schedules in Revit. This is going to be part one. We're going to start with a brand new equipment schedule from scratch. For that we're going to use a medical air compressor. I'm going to show you how to create share parameters and how to add them to your equipment and schedules. And then finally I'm going to show you how to create a parameter set template using RF tools. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a group of share parameters that you can apply to your equipment so you can create your schedules regardless of a manufacturer. Very powerful tool. I hope you like it. See you in Revit. Hi everyone, this is Alex with Bim It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. All right, so what we want to do is create a medical air compressor schedule. So far, the only thing we have is a tag, a mechanical equipment tag. But what we want to do is create a nice little schedule, something similar to this. So we're going to start adding each header, okay? And then we're going to combine as necessary. Maybe we'll have each one of these individually. That's the way it should be. And then combine under the same header. Let's go ahead and start our schedule. So we come here to schedules and we're going to create a new schedule quantities. What category are we going to use? We're going to use mechanical equipment and we're going to call this medical air compressor. Actually let's have both medical air compressor and medical vacuum pump into one schedule. So instead of this let's call it medical gas equipment. Then I'm going to have two schedules. One modeling where I can see all my parameters and then the other one with the proper headers so that I can print. I'm going to keep new construction. I click OK. Now from mechanical equipment, I have a bunch of fields available. We want to have for sure the equipment tag. We want to have equipment description. We want to have equipment manufacturer. Equipment model number. We want equipment standard CFM. We don't have that. We do have flow. Let's keep that parameter available for actual flow and let's just add another parameter it's going to be a share parameter we want to pull it out from plumbing but we don't have standard CFM anywhere here so let's go ahead and edit this let's go to plumbing we want to add a new parameter it's going to be AJS quit and it's going to be standard CFM what type of parameter is this going to be? It's going to be a common parameter. It's going to be text parameter for now. And we can click OK. And now that I think about it, this parameter should be called standard CFM for each unit so that I can have a standard CFM for the system. So let's go ahead and delete that parameter. Unfortunately, you cannot rename share parameters in Revit. Anyway, let's just delete it. Yes. And let's create a new parameter. It's going to be AJS equipment and then standard CFM each again common text okay and now we want to create another parameter called AJS equipment standard CFM but this time is for the system or total again common text and okay we can see that we have electrical horsepower, we have the electrical facing, and we have the electrical hertz. We have our RPM in case we need it. We should probably do the same thing with horsepower and have horsepower each and horsepower total. So let's go ahead and do that. This can be a little bit, it can be potentially destructive if I already have schedules calling for this parameter. But I know what I'm doing, so I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to create a new parameter. It's going to be AJS, equipment, electrical, horsepower, each. I'm going to copy this so that I create the other one. Again, is common text. Okay. Let's create now another parameter. And this one's going to be HP, but instead of each, it's total. And again, it's a text parameter. Okay. Let's make sure we're consistent. So we have standard CFM each, standard CFM total. So we're fine. We have a column for remarks. And although we have our remarks, and here you can say, you know, provide with BAS monitoring and connect to emergency power, we would probably want to have those headers separate 
Uh, so let's go ahead and add one just in case we need it. Call it AJS. It can be equipment BAS. That's fine. Again, common text. And this can be either a yes or no parameter. I'm going to keep it text to keep it simple. Everything's going to be text for now. I'm going to click OK. And then we can have another one for emergency power. Same thing. AJS. Equipment. Emergency. Power. Again, common text. OK. And I think we're good for now. So what I would like to do here is add the standard CFM for each piece of equipment and then the total for the system. So now I'm going to edit my family to add those parameters. I'm going to go to family types. And then since I'm here already, I'm going to fill this in as medical air compressor dash. And then you just fill it in with whatever you want. And let's add a few more parameters. Let's try to add the parameters in the order we want them filled. So they appear in order in the schedule. So share parameters. Let's go to plumbing. And then we'll go equipment description. And for now, even though you can have several compressors that are all the same in a large facility, let's keep it simple and let's make this an instance parameter so we can just fill them in in the properties palette. We keep that as text, but we want to group this under plumbing so we can find them easily. Okay. And then the description is going to be medical air compressor. Then I'm going to add a new parameter. Again, share parameter. And select it from plumbing. This is going to be the manufacturer. It's going to be an instance parameter. We're going to group it under plumbing. This one we're going to leave blank. We're going to move down. And we're going to add the model number. It's going to be again a share parameter. I'm going to take it from plumbing. And this equipment model. It's going to be again an instance parameter. And again I'm going to group it under plumbing. And I'm going to take it down. Now we go to our standard CFM. So share parameter from plumbing. Equipment standard CFM each instance plumbing down and now standard CFM total. So select plumbing standard CFM total instance. We group it under plumbing. Okay. And we move it down. Now we have the electrical voltage, phase, and hertz. Share parameter. Plumbing. Electrical voltage. Instance. Plumbing. Let's bring it down. Now, now the number of phases. Instance. Plumbing. Let's move it down. Now the hertz. Share parameters. And select it from plumbing. Electrical hertz. Instance. I'm going to group it under plumbing. We move it down. And now finally the horsepower. Share parameter. Plumbing. Electrical horsepower each for each one of the compressors. Instance. Plumbing. Okay. Move it down. Even though these are electrical parameters, I'm grouping them under plumbing so that I can find them easier. Now the horsepower total. So share parameters. Select. Plumbing. Equipment horsepower total. Okay. Instance. And plumbing. Let's move it down. you can add either the remarks and that's it and put BAS and emergency power under your remarks or we can add them as individual columns let's add them as individual columns so share parameter plumbing emergency power instance we group it under plumbing move it down and now the BAS monitoring share parameter select Plumbing, equipment BIS. It can be building automating system or building management system. So it could be BMS sometimes. So instance, we're going to group it under plumbing. Let's move it down. And then finally, we have our remarks. Share parameter. Plumbing, equipment remarks. 
instance, and we group it under plumbing. Moving down, and we click OK. And now in my equipment, I have all those parameters available. And now I could go to RF tools and then go to the parameter scheduler. And then I can choose the parameter source, the current document. And you can see that all my AJS parameters are here highlighted. I don't want to include the beacon part number. I don't want to include their values or their location or their motor HP, nor the noise, pole, faces, the receiver. We could probably add this as an additional parameter. Yeah, I'll probably do that later. For now, I'm just going to keep it like this. BTUH per hour, capacity, full load amps, power and weight, type, type one, voltage and volt phase hertz. And we just wanna keep our parameters. I'm gonna add it. And now that I have this information, I'm gonna remove this value and delete it. I'm gonna remove this value and delete it. I'm gonna save this as a parameter template. And this template is going to be AJS MedEquip for medical air compressors and medical vacuum pump. Hit OK. And now I can use that for future families. So for example, now I just open a new compressor. And if I go here to my family types and I scroll down, you see that I have none of my AJS uh, shared parameters. But I can simply come here to RF Tools and then Parameter Scheduler. And now I can see my AJS MedEquip Mac and MVP parameter set here so I can simply add it like this and then I can apply to either a folder or a family and then you could select it from a browser see like that or if I already have it open like I do now I can simply say apply parameters to family and then it takes a little bit and then you say okay and you close out of here and once you close out of it now if I go to my types I can see all my AJS parameters so now this family is ready to be filled up so I can save and I can use for future projects and if you're interested in RF tools, you can scan any of the QR codes that you see on screen right now. And that's going to be a direct affiliate link to download and install RF tools. Good luck.